Hey what's up guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install Android 5.0 Lollipop ROM on your LG G3. So this works with the D855 variant only. As LG G3 is receiving Lollipop updates on few of its variant but not all. So if you have the D855 variant you can install it manually. So in order to install this ROM you must be rooted and should have a custom recovery installed. I will leave the links in the description on how to do so. Before proceeding, make sure to back up everything cause you'll be losing all your apps and data. Now hit link 1 from the description and download the ROM file. Once done, head on over to the link 2 and download the super SU file. Once you have downloaded both the files, transfer it to your internal or your external memory card of your phone. Now download the QuickBoot app from the Play Store. Launch it and get into the recovery mode. Else you can use the physical buttons to do so. Once you are on the recovery mode, go to wipe, go to advanced and here check Dalvik, data and cache. Once done, swipe to wipe. So once this is done, go back, back, go to install. If the ROM is on your internal memory, just navigate to the ROM file. Else tap here and go to external SD. Now go to the ROM file, select it and swipe to install. So this will take some time, just be patient and I will be back with you once this is done. So the installation is complete. Now go back, go to the same folder and this time you need to install the super SU file that you have downloaded from the link to. Once done, hit reboot system now. So the first boot will take some time, just be patient and I will be back with you guys once we boot back. So there you go guys, we have successfully installed the Android 5.0 Lollipop on the LG G3 and we remain rooted as well since we have flashed the super SU file. So let me just skip through the basic setup. Now quickly going on to settings about phone and there you see we are running the Android 5.0 Lollipop. So we don't have much of the UI changes but we do get this new notification bar with this animation. App drawer remains the same. The device feels much more smoother. Everything is working perfect. We have the card style multitasking UI as you can see here. Addition of guest mode with this update and all the goodies from the Android 5.0. So that's all for this video guys, if you have any questions feel free to leave your comments down below, stay tuned for more and you guys have a great time.